Okay, so in order to make uh, loops or corkscrews or a, a hill or a bump or a jump, you take a regular straight track, you take your scissors and you, you cut right up to the crease. You have to go all the way to the crease because if you don't, the track won't bend right. And you cut into walls on on both sides. They don't have to be a mirror image of each other. But okay. If I just cut that much, you'll see I could create a bump in my track. Uh, I would need help here. Once you have the shape of the bump, then someone else could tape those into place and it will hold it there for you. Uh, if I wanted to make it into a jump, I might make those little cuts a little bit farther down. Say to, to here. And then, if I had the marble rolling down, I could sort of figure out at what angle I wanted it to roll down, how steep I wanted my jump to be. Sort of like that. And then finally, if I wanted to make uh, a loop or a corkscrew, I have to make these cuts all the way down on each end. I'll do that real fast. Once you have the cuts all the way down on each end, and if you can't do that, that means you didn't cut all the way to the crease. What I like to do is I take a roll of masking tape, and what you can do is you, you form fit it around the roll of tape. It always helps to have two tracks together here. That way it will reach at least all the way around. <clears throat> and then you take small pieces of tape. And you just tape one side. And you have to make sure that the tape always overlaps the last piece of tape that you put down. Because so if there's a gap in the tape, it'll unroll itself. You won't have that shape that you need. So once you're done, you, you can pull it off there. This would also be a, a way to turn your track if you had the marble come in that way. But uh, once you finish, it should look something more like this. Now I, I had this side up against the tape and, and this is the one I did first and then once I pulled it off of the tape roll I, I had to flip it over and I have to still tape this edge over here but once <clears throat> if I were to put the marble in there you'd be able to see it would have a little bit of speed going in and just rolls right around the outside because of centrifugal acceleration um, and that's how you'd make a, a corkscrew to make a loop it's really the same exact thing. You just need to have a little bit more speed and the marble will get in, make it up and over. Once the marble's upside down at this point, that's considered a loop. So corkscrew versus a loop.